Well, let's take a look at using conditional formatting to change the color of cells based on the content in the cells. In this case, let's take a look at text. So the first thing we need to do is highlight the area where we want to change colors. And we're going to change colors depending on the mileage on a particular hike. So we want all of the ones that are one mile to be one color, all the ones that are two miles to be a different color, all the ones that are three to be a different color, and so on. So we'll have to do this multiple times because you can only do one at a time in conditional formatting. So we're going to highlight the things that we want to change color and we're going to be on the Home tab and we'll go to conditional formatting. And we want to create our own rule so we're going to click on new rule. In the new rule we're going to use a formula to determine which cells to format. Then I'm going to click in the formatting and I'm going to click in the cell 1 where it says 1 because I'll do that one first. Now I do have these dollar signs which means that they are um, absolute rather than relative and if I want it to go down the J row, I don't want the 3 to be absolute. I want the 3 to be relative so it changes from 3 to 4 to 5 to 6 to 7 to make sure that it goes through the whole row and not just this first row. So okay, so we've done that and we want J3 to equal 1 and we need to put quotation marks around the word that it's looking for which is 1. Then we're going to click on format and we're going to choose a color for what we want that one to be. So all the ones that are one starting with J3 um, will be green. I click OK and voila it did. Now I would have to do this again for the, for, uh, for the other colors. So um, again I would highlight this and go up to conditional formatting new rule. I'm using the formula to determine the cells and I click in the formula. I'm going to click here again because I want this whole chart. I'm going to get rid of the dollar sign so that it is relative and I put the equal sign and this time I'm going to put in two and again don't forget the quotation marks and then pick your color that you want for the two. And um, the two will then be highlighted. So you just keep doing this for each one. Another way that you can do this is you can click on manage rules. So you can come down here and say manage rules and you can add in all of your rules that you want in here. Um, and you can edit each one of these rules too. You can delete rules, you can manage rules. Um, however you would like to set your rules up. Then I can add a new rule here and say okay this time again I'm using a formula and for three format this one to orange Click OK, but I forgot to put this equals 5. Let's just say it equals 5. And actually that should have been J3 again. Click OK, OK. And now we see our 1s are in green, our 2s are in blue, and the 5 is in yellow. And we could do this over and over however many times we wanted. So that's how you use conditional formatting to change the color in a range of cells based on one cell having a particular text in there.